Hey guys, it's me Carrie and this is take three of this video because for some reason my phone just stopped recording for no apparent reason twice. But this is my new do, first of all. I was theoretically cutting off eight inches of hair to donate. It's very difficult to find places where you can donate hair that has been bleached um, and that includes highlights, which mine has been freshened up a bit now too, yay. But um, yeah, the idea was eight inches. I was donating to the one charity I found in the top six that came up on Google search that take hair donations. It was the only one that takes bleached hair. They also take gray hair, FYI. If you are gray haired, lovely, that wants to donate hair and most places say they do not accept gray. They do accept gray and bleached hair at Children with Hair Loss, I believe is the name of the organization. I can post a link in the Dropbox if you guys are interested. Just leave a comment, let me know, and I will add that. But yeah, long story short, eight inches of hair was supposed to go. My stylist, my mother, and my stylist's daughter, who is also a stylist, took a tape measure and measured eight inches of hair. And they have to take off a little bit extra to make up for the dead ends that, you know, where they chop them off at first because that's not really usable hair. But yeah, eight inches of hair. This is way shorter than I expected it to be. I expected mid-boob length, to be perfectly honest. That was my intention. I know why it's so much shorter than I expected because when I got home and I measured the pony, it was 16 inches long. So apparently three grown adults were very mathematically challenged with the tape measure. Fortunately, I'm happy with it. I've had it this length before, not in a few years. I mean, it's pretty scrunchable and easy to style. I can't really do, well, I guess I could do baby ponies with it, but it's definitely shorter than I had planned, but whatever. It's hair. It's going to a good cause. I'm happy. It's just really funny. From now on, I'm measuring it myself, and I'm ponytail marking it off myself before I go to the salon because I can't trust that eight inches is not going to become almost a foot and a half. And technically, if you consider that they cut above the rubber band part, they probably did cut off about a foot and a half of hair. But that's neither here nor there. That's just a like, how do you do? That's why I have new hair. This is actually supposed to be a Christmas tree shops haul and it's itty bitty. And I've had little bitty pretty one in my head because I walked in the house and started singing that to my Venus, my little kitty. And um, since this is a little bitty haul, now I've got little bitty pretty one just roaming through my head. But anyway, let's just get to it because we've already wasted three minutes. First thing is this really cute new tote. They have a lot of fun new fall and Halloween totes. Um, in the county in which I live in New York, they are not yet charging for plastic bags. However, in the county where this store is located here on Long Island, they do. They charge you a nickel per plastic bag. So it's a good incentive to bring your own reusable bags. My mother never does, like legit. She has them in her car. I'm like, you are ridiculous, they're right here. Why on principle? And just to be, you know, even if you're not worrying about being green, just to like save money, why would you not bring the bag? She's like, I can't be bothered. So I bring a bag in and then we usually end up with at least one extra, but it gets me a nice bag. And again, for buck, how cute is this? And there's just Christmas tree shops on the side. Originally, I picked one with a pumpkin spice design, but then I was like, oh, no, 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 I like this with the fun halloween -y stuff. I'm sure my friends Mary and Jen will definitely be getting this bag if they go to Christmas tree shops because they are super into Halloween, even more than I am, but we all three love it. But anyway, that's number one. Um, number two is in the house because I'm a dork and I forgot, but there is a very elusive Frosted Flakes flavor out there called banana cream I think it's called it may just be banana I bought regular frosted flakes I want to say around the beginning of this year probably around January February 2019 and I got a coupon on the back of the box that said you could get buy one get one if you purchase either banana cream frosted flakes I want to say cinnamon and maybe honey something there were three different flavors Long story short, the only time I ever saw these elusive damn banana cream ones were at the Dollar Tree. And of course, stupid that I am, I only bought one box. Like, well, what if I don't like them? They're Frosted Flakes and they're banana. I hate actual bananas, but I love banana flavored things. And so does my husband. Why would I think I wouldn't like them? So of course, never saw them again. Well, P.S. 
Christmas tree shops had one box. It was reduced to $1.99. Meanwhile, they had like the honey ones next to it for $2.99, only because the box was crushed a little, I guess. But who gives a crap? It's a box of cereal. It's not open. It's not short dated even or anything. There was nothing wrong with it. It was just a little bit of squished box. So who cares if your frosted flakes are a little bit crumb, you know, more crumbly than normal. And I don't even think it would affect the cereal. So for $1.99, I was super stoked because it was a great big family size box. So I got that, but of course it's in the house. I can do an on-camera taste testing for you if you're interested in that. I mean, I've had them already. I can tell you I really like them, but I could like give you, you know, more specifics if you want me to do like a Persevering Moms video on that, let me know. But anywho, so there was that. Then they had a sale on, they usually have like some kind of a doorbuster sale when you go in and today's happened to be on goldfish crackers. They are, as you can hopefully see on this package here, $2.49 normally. And all the goldfish crackers were a buck. So I was like, wow, I haven't had goldfish crackers in ages. They're yummy. They're not the worst snack in the world. They're baked, you know, they're not fried. Um, these happen to be the baby goldfish. And I'll explain to you why I got these in a minute. But um, yeah, there's seven serving sizes. A serving size is legit 89 baby goldfish. Like you're gonna sit and count that out. But technically this is seven servings and 140 calories, five grams of fat, not a lot of, fiber which is a bummer less than a gram but like if you're going to eat something salty it's probably a better choice than a lot of other things i originally had the normal size goldfish cheddars but they were only in a 6.6 .6 ounce bag if you look at that you guys 7.2 ounces so why would you not want more you know and plus they're little and little food is just cuter and tastes better because it's cuter or at least in my world so i got that then this is like a really really small haul then i found these and i just got one because my husband and i love indian food and when i saw this he loves tortilla chips i was like he might really dig these so i'll probably be sorry to buy more than one they originally were a dollar 49 reduced to 75 cents because they these are short dated but not terribly they're good till september 13th and what is today the 31st of august so he's got two weeks these will be gone before two weeks but yeah, Al Chipino is the name of this brand. Try New Angle Barbecue Tikka Masala. They are gluten-free, vegan-friendly, cholesterol-free, and non-GMO flavored tortilla chips. So for 5.5 ounces, I'm sure he will probably be intrigued by them, if nothing else. And he'll eat them because he loves tortilla chips. For 75 cents, dude, it was so worth trying them. So I got these primarily for him. I liked, you know, chicken tikka masala is one of my favorite things to get at the Indian buffet that we go to quite frequently. So I will definitely try them myself. And then I got... These have nothing to do with Christmas tree shops. Um, they happen to be in a Tanger Outlet Center. And today they were doing like a block party theme, I guess back to school, you know, fun for the kids and families. And my mom is a Tanger Rewards member, so they gave out little backpacks. They're kind of like the cheesy ones that are nylon with the rope straps and, you know, they usually last you a little while. But she got one of those, but what I was excited about is there were also Cracker Jacks. So she got a box for me and a box for her. So yay for those, because those were free and I love them. But the last two goodies I got at Christmas tree shops, ugh, my flattering angles here, were like decorative kind of things. This I just thought was too stinking adorable. It's just a little plastic plate and says, well, hello there. And I'm gonna just put it in like a little plate rack and display and I'm not gonna actually eat on it or anything. Or maybe just put it in my room and put like jewelry on it or something. I'll probably put it on a plate rack though because it's just so stinking cute. These were originally two for a dollar, 59 cents each, and they were 50% off. So presumably it was 59 cents, so 30 cents. I mean, how can you beat that? It was just so adorable. They had several other designs as well in the summer clearance, but I just, I love this little whale, so I had to have him. And then last but not least, I needed a little something Halloween-y, and I didn't realize I would be getting the tote bag. <laughs> this is really awful for me to admit, but it's all meant and fun. When my mother comes upstairs, because my husband and I primarily, the upstairs of this house, it's, you know, the house I grew up in, it's my mother's house, but we pretty much 
have the upstairs to ourselves. We don't have a separate entrance and we don't have our own kitchen and my mother's bedroom is upstairs. But other than that, the rest of the upstairs, you know, we pretty much only use that bathroom. We have our bedroom, we have a living room, and then we have like a little random room where we have like our little coffee station and we keep our snacks and stuff. But when my mother, we hear my mother on the stairs, she, my husband always turns to the cats and goes, uh-oh, you guys, gird your loins, something wicked this way comes. So when I saw this, I had to have it. It's just one of those wooden um, little, you know, little cube things that you can set out. We have an, ele um, an electric fireplace, and I love to put these out at different holidays and stuff, even though it's only August 31st, I'm putting this out now because it's just too cute. Then a few other nice designs as well. There was one with a black cat that I really wanted, but I just don't have a lot of shelf space, like legit to even find room for this tiny little thing. I'm gonna have to move something else, but I just had to have it. It just made me laugh thinking about, you know, my mom and my husband and the kitties. So that is it for my Christmas tree shops haul. And I'm just, you know what? I'm gonna throw one more thing at the end. This has nothing to do with Christmas tree shops. If you guys are familiar, you, many of you may be, but some of you may not. There is a program called Disney Movie Rewards. If you buy Disney movies on Blu-ray or DVD, you can get points and you can redeem those points for prizes. And it can either be a prize completely free, including the shipping for more points, or you can do uh, less points if you're willing to pay the shipping. I'm El Cheapo, so I don't want to ever pay the shipping. But um, the only bad thing about the program is originally they gave you points for digital purchases, then they stopped. Apparently they're going to start doing that again on September 26th. They're revamping the program, but sadly my husband bought a shit ton of Marvel movies and other Disney movies and he prefers to buy digital. So we lost out on all those points, which really, really sucks. But I'm, I'm sort of starting to get on the digital bandwagon, but I'm kind of old school and especially if it's in like a nice clamshell case and you know it looks pretty I still kind of like having blu-rays and DVDs so we get points from the ones that I buy and I'm just putting this out there not you know just saying if you guys are Disney DVD or Blu-ray buyers and you are not members of Disney Movie Rewards and you ever have any you know codes that you're not going to use I would love to have them because I really enjoy this program so much you could always message them to me at my Persevering Star Facebook page or at Instagram you don't have to obviously give them to me and if you don't know about the program and you're signing up now then congratulations because you can get some really cute stuff but this is something I just redeemed 750 points for. So to put in into perspective, typically when you buy a DVD, I think you get 100, 75 to 100 points. If you buy a Blu-ray, I think you get 150 points. And you also get points for buying tickets to Disney movies in the theater. And I think those you get 100 points per ticket and if you go to the 3d versions it might be 150 i don't go to 3d because it makes me nauseous unfortunately so i don't know for certain but anyway for the 750 points i finally for the first time saw this movie last year it was absolutely killing brian that i had never seen it before because he's seen it a million times and it's one of his faves i'm trying not to do so many funko pops because i don't have room for them but this one really was so cute. So I got the Hocus Pocus Winifred Sanderson one. I just think she is adorable. I think she actually just, I love the way they did her little mouth. She does resemble Bette and I love Bette Midler. My husband freaking worships and adores Bette Midler like beyond words. They do have a Sarah and a Mary as well. I wasn't as crazy about them though. I don't know if you can see if it's focusing clearly. They don't have mouths like at all which is kind of weird to me. So I just didn't care for those as much. So I didn't get them. I just got the Winifred one, but she, I just thought was really, really, really cute. And for 750 points, I figured these would fly off the shelves. They may actually already be not available. I'm not positive. I haven't checked lately, but she's just so stinking cute. I was like, I, yeah, I need her. I mean, she's like, the alpha sister anyway and it's, I mean come on it's bet but yeah so she's number 557 there's a 
little picture of her on the side. I just couldn't help myself. So again, if you guys are interested, just go to, I believe it's just DisneyMovieRewards.com. They may be changing the website when they change the program um, in about a month. And if you are not a member, but you do have codes, even if they're old codes, if they've not been redeemed, I would be so grateful for them. Like legit, you have no idea because I love getting Disney stuff. Um, you can always send me those codes. I would super appreciate it, but please message them to me privately because if you post them in the comments, somebody else is going to snag them. <laughs> but anyway, so I figured I'd throw that in there too since it's not a terrible long video. We're only at 15 minutes. But anyway, so yeah, that's an update on my do and my Christmas tree haul and my fun little Disney movie rewards goodie. Um, oh, and FYI, just one last thing because I've always got the rambles. I did get my first... PSL pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks on Saturday Thursday I did it on Thursday because after three o'clock that day they had buy one get one on the drinks and I was like if I'm gonna spend like six bucks on a damn PSL I might as well get two and I offered my husband many times the second one and he's like no 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 you just drink it so I got two and it was delicious and I'm really wanting to try the new I think it's pumpkin spice or pumpkin foam cold brew or something a lot of people have been raving about that it's a little cheaper and it's less calories so next time I take the plunge I will be trying one of those but it was delicious and it's really random because from year to year I feel like they do change up the recipe last year I remember having it and not being super impressed so I don't know I don't know what Starbucks changes or if it's just that my taste buds change but I really enjoyed it but what I want to add you guys is that if you are a member of 7-eleven rewards which I am just add the app to your phone. Not only do you get a free beverage for every, I think you have to buy six and the seventh one is free and that's good on any beverage. Slurpees, bottled beverages, um, hot, hot coffee, cold coffee, whatevs. I'm pretty sure it's good for bottled stuff too. I know it's good for anything that comes out of their machines, you know, slurpees, sodas, that sort of stuff, fountain stuff. But you guys, if you have the app and I looked this up, from now until December 31st. Yes, you heard that right. This is August 31st. So you're talking September, October, November, December. For the next four months, you can get any size hot beverage for a dollar. I'm so not kidding. And they also count towards your buy six, get the seventh one free. So I went today and little did I know, because I don't think I've ever known this before, they have pumpkin spice lattes at 7-Eleven in the freaking machine. I was all excited to just go and get a regular flavor coffee and add pumpkin spice creamer. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to the actual machine. There was like a sign advertising it. I posted on my Insta because I'm such a basic B <laughs> that I was like all about the pumpkin spice stuff, but it's an actual pre-mixed delicious pumpkin spice latte like it may be too sweet for some of you guys like my husband would be like oh my god sweetness overload so what I would suggest is try one I mean for a buck especially if you're getting it for a buck and you can get an extra large please that's ridiculous try it and if it's too sweet just get a half and then fill it with regular coffee or whatever else you want to do to doctor it up but for a dollar I mean, here in New York, that's $1.09 with sales tax. That's so ridiculously cheap. And it was so good. And I mean, it's apples and oranges because it's, you know, a pre-mixed slurry. So it was a lot sweeter than the Starbucks one. And the Starbucks obviously was made fresh by a barista. And it was also iced as opposed to hot. But oh my God, you guys, it was so delicious. So again, don't look for it by the regular coffees. Look for it further down there's going to be a machine I know our machine had chai lattes hot chocolate the pumpkin spice latte and one other thing I don't remember but look for them because they're really really good so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that too okay now we're at 19 minutes so I'm definitely shutting up but have an awesome rest of your day guys I'm so excited that it's going to be September tomorrow don't forget to rabbit rabbit tonight at midnight if you think of it if you don't know what rabbit rabbit means google it because it's easier than me trying to explain but I try to say it at the first thing on the first day of every month um but yeah have an awesome rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff bye guys